And we're back. And over there is a submarine, but I wouldn't do it yet. Because you can do it without the next item, but I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, we've arrived at this island, and what's on it? Actually, there's a fish over there. Let's go get that. Anyway, back to the island. Right, for this place, we're going to need the Wind Waker. And fan. A thicker leaf. Why the hell did I call that a fan? It's a leaf fan. I can call it whatever I want. I'm playing this game. This island's so special, it gets its own cutscene. There should be some magic here. Where the heck's the magic? Ah! Greetings, old person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman contest. And now listen, you're free to use any means, methods, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. Rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas like so much deadweight driftwood. A banner stands now at the site where the great intelligent champion who has flown the farthest to date crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of gory. Glory. <laughs> gory. <laughs> yep, he splattered against the water. <laughs> If you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion, and you will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. The participation fee is a mere 10 rupees. Well, will you take the challenge? Ah, I've only got 4,000. Okay, then up the ladder you go. My brother awaits you up top. Uh, you don't seem to have any wings or feathers or anything on your back. So do you have something that you can use to fly? Right, I sure hope so. Here's wishing the winds beneath your uh, thing, whatever it is. Yeah, he fills your magic if you go up. So, 10 rupees for a full magic meter. Totally worth it. <coughs> oh, I'm telling you, see, this is what. You see that banner far off in the distance? That marks the record distance set by great and talented champion. You must pass that banner. Right. First, let's make sure the wind's blowing the way we want it to. <coughs> no point in tempting this if the wind's unfavorable. Northwest. A nice northwesterly breeze. Now, you need to time it so the cyclones go in. The first one you've pretty much got to hit, or you're not going to make it. Jump! Do -do 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 -do. Up we go! Right, you can avoid the second one completely if you want, but... Let's see if I hit it anyway. I don't... Uh, maybe I did need the second one. Maybe it's the third you miss. No, no. I think I can make it. It's you're supposed to skip one of the cyclones. No, 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 no! Go down, water. Go down. I command you. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have gone right, not left. Splish. Flight distance was 149 yards. Yes, a whopping 149 yards. Oh, well. Ba 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 Yeah. Let's just get back up. I will make this. <laughs> and yeah, you will need the extended magic meter for this because your magic meat does run out if you don't have it. And try and open your deck relief at the last second. If you open it too early, then you'll waste magic. Good to call that one. <laughs> You don't have to hit every single one of them. Helps, but you don't have to. <coughs> well, I think we've got to get this one. <coughs> Oops. Oh no, I, think, I think we can make it. Oh, the magic's running low. Right, mash B when you're about to land for an extra jump when you get out of the deck of leaf. Like that. <laughs> A little hop at the end. And I made it this time! Go! Congratulations! Your current record is an impressive 261 yards. Oh, breathtaking! You have shown me an incredible feat of aerial navigation. My eyes, they are unworthy. Amazing, you blew past my brother's best record in impressive fashion. You would make a fine and distinguished member of the Rito tribe, I guarantee it. The former champion upstairs says so too. You are both great and talented. So as the new champion of the Birdman contest, please accept this great and talented prize. Well, he must be a really bad flyer for a Rito, considering the postman can go from island to island. 
and yet he can't fly 250 yards. You collected three so far, one more! Right. Let's get in the boat now. Right. Um, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to sail all the way to Rock Spire Island again, just to pick up the stuff from the shop that saved rupees for. But actually, no, forget that. I'll do that later. For now, we're going to go back to Windfall. So, I'll cut to Windfall. There shouldn't be anything on the way there, so I'll see you. And we're back. We finally arrived at Windfall, and I got some new bait. Bought some from Beetle. Anyway, we're here for a couple of things. There's a lot to do on this island now, but I'm not going to do everything. I'm going to save some for a later date. Alright. First, need to speak to this guy. Oh, that, that's not it. That's just not it. And the problem is, even though that's not it, this isn't it either. Oh dear, pardon me, pardon me, guy, but I was so fully and wholly absorbed my dancing that I didn't even notice little old you standing there. I am taught. I love dancing more than I love three meals a day. You'll come to know me as the world's mo world's charismatic dancer extraordinaire. Ready, guy? One, two, one, two. So, guy, you know what I was reminded of? Long ago, I met this delightful little guy who performed the most dazzling magic dance, a dance that turned night into day before my very eyes. I can remember those fabulous dance moves, but I just can't get down the intricate rhythm down. Do you think you know the rhythm, guy? Right, this is easy. This is easy. Get your wind waker out, but don't touch anything. I don't think you can anyway. No, you can't. <laughs> that, that's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. Right, left, down. Right, left. You learn the song of passing. That's it, that's it, and it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now let the sun shine on. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? Right, now we've got a new song for the for the Wind Waker. We can now turn night into day and day into night instantly, whenever we want. Right, now we're going to go back in here for the next thing I'm going to show you. <coughs> the Picto Box. I didn't get this last time because there wasn't really any need to. But now we're going to need it. And I'm going to go through the explanation why. Right. Remember back at Forest Haven, I opened up the gallery but I didn't go in it? Right. The reason I didn't go in it was it's, I didn't really need it because you need the deluxe picture box to do anything. What the guy does is you give him pictures of something and he'll make like a little statue of it. And however you need the deluxe pictograph to get it. And to get the deluxe pictograph you need a forest firefly from the fairy. So I've got the fair firefly, so now we're gonna try and get the deluxe pictograph box picture box, but first we need to get the original box. I think I'm lost. <laughs> Great. And yeah, it's what it is. Is he also does pictures of monsters, including bosses. Now, boss one and two, we do fight them again, so we'll get their pictures then. But boss three, you only ever fight him once, so we have to get it now. Otherwise, we can't get his stat or the his statue until the next playthrough. The Picto Box! And I think I'm running out of time here. I've either got a minute or no minutes. So I'll cut now and I'll show you what we're going to do with it next part. So see you next part where we get the Deluxe Pictograph bo Picto Box.